Well, finally, Senator, is this the moment when the politics on this issue are beginning to coalesce? You're going to be co-sponsoring this legislation with Senator David Bitter from Louisiana, a number of other conservatives, George Will, Peggy Noonan, the president and CEO of the Dallas Fed, uh, Richard Fisher, have come out in favor of laws that would break up the banks and end too big to fail. Are the stars finally aligning, and why hasn't this succeeded in previous attempts? Well, it hasn't succeeded in the past because of the power of the big banks. I mean, it's it's rare that uh, that uh, these huge financial institutions lose any political or um, or regulatory battle in you know, in Washington D.C. Uh, the government still has too much of a bias towards Wall Street, but the the planets are starting to align. I mean, you you see the. Uh, there are ten Republican offices we're working with. Only three Republicans back during Brown Kaufman. The, the vote on this in 2010 as an amendment on the Senate floor. We got only three Republican votes this time. There are ten offices we're working with. We're seeing um, political commentators and economists and uh, people with cons- pretty conservative bent. Governor Huntsman, Sheila Bear, uh, uh, people like George Will and Peggy Noonan. Um, more progressive columnists like Gretchen Morgenstern at the New York Times, although it's hardly considered a liberal. I mean, we're seeing people all across the political spectrum, including David Bitter and others, who who are are moving in this direction. So, and and the, the 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 growth in support just in the last 12 months has surprised all of us, and I think the the prospects increasingly look better. What can our listeners do, your constituents listening to us on Ohio's Progressive Talk in Columbus and across the country, do support your efforts to break up the big to fail banks? No, I think it's important. Well, it is. They don't think they're a good idea. I think it's important that people weigh in on this. It's it's an issue that's that people just intuitively understand that these banks have too much economic power, too much political power, that they potentially can undermine um, our economy. We know the huge damage they did. Uh, four or five years ago um, in the late years of the Bush administration and continued to wreak havoc on our economy after that uh, and and still do and I think people intuitively understand that and should should be that this this grassroots effort is starting to build and people can be part of that well Senator we certainly wish you the best of luck thank you so much for joining us again on Big Ag sure glad to do it Daniel thank you see ya That's all for Take Action News today, Saturday, March 23rd. Don't forget to catch up with us on our podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. And of course, subscribe to us on YouTube on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV. Gives you free clips in your inbox. On behalf of David Schuster, Peter Callahan, Charlie Mitchell, And the rest of the Take Action News team, this is Daniel Marins, executive producer, wishing you a great weekend and a fantastic week. Join us next time.